Hey guys, in this video I'm going to to, uh, uh, make a nice intro for your, uh, upcoming videos, like the one I have in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Alright, so first off, you have to have Vegas Pro for this tutorial. Open it up, and what you want to do first is to create two video tracks. Two of them. You won the first one or the second one doesn't matter. You want to go to media generators and click noise texture and click standard turbulence right there. So you drag that to one of your videos. One of your video tracks, my bad. Hold on. Okay. Alright, you really don't need any to do any any with anything with that. And then with this video track you wanna click right click and click insert text media. You could type in here I'm gonna type in mine. Try gaming. Oh crap, I didn't capitalize that. Why right, whatever. And I I like to use Jenkins. Depending what kind of intro I'm gonna do. That's a pretty cool intro. I mean not cool intro my text. Put that on there. And you wanna make it just as full as that. And you for the Standard turbulence. You want to gonna click compositing mode right here. See it come up with that, and click dodge. So it should be black. Yeah. All right, and then after that, uh, you're gonna want to click on crap. Oh yeah, view video effects. There. Okay. Then you want to click on glow. Scroll down, click, click, glow, glow, click on. It. Oh my God, this is just pissing me off. All right, then you drag it to your try gaming. You text me. I don't know. Fiddle around with this a little bit. You do whatever you want with this. I actually like right there. Those two settings right there. You can copy me. It looks pretty good. Close that, and it should look like this. Play. Oh my god. I'm so sorry about this. Hold up, I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know what the heck happened. It wouldn't, wouldn't really play, I guess. Wouldn't, yeah, alright. Wouldn't play. Alright, so, after that, what I did is it'll look like this in the top right corner right here and then uh, uh, pause and then if you want that's pretty much that's that's pretty good right add a little fade in right there and um <clears throat> if you want to make it 3d under the text under the text um, layer you're gonna want to click compositing mode and then 3D source alpha is already 3D source alpha <coughs> as default, but you want to click 3D source alpha. Sorry about that, my sister's annoying. Alright, and so after that, you're going to click 3D source alpha. Then, right after you do that, you're going to keep this highlighted, the that track. With your uh, text media in it, you want to highlight that one. It's blue. You want to click track motion. Then it'll pop up this. Pop up this. And if it don't, if it doesn't have any of these three things up top, and only has like a, a Z or X or Y, not all three, you probably did not turn change the compositing mode correctly. <clears throat> so what you want when you get to that. Move that out of the way a little bit. No, there you go. And you can move this all the way to the right, to the beginning of your track. And there should be a little triangle right there. You see that? Right there. You're gonna move it to the end of the track. See how it's right there? See how it's at the end of it? You want to click plus triangle. And that. After you do that, so you want to move all the way back, and then you're gonna turn 
highlight one of these y is an up and down x is inside left and right up y is up and down and I'm pretty sure y no, I mean z I don't know what I forgot what z does but I'm just gonna do x that's what I do so it's good turns out pretty good and once you got that beginning of your triangle the first triangle right you want to move this to where you want it to start so sort of like this or like like right there's good and then see as you, as you move this it curves and it curves goes back to normal that's you, that means you're doing good you 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 did it good all right so at the y you you're going to want to change it to where you want it want it to end oh come on Like right there. This started over here. Now I want it over here. Right there is perfect. And then you want to test it out. Look, it starts from right there. And it curves. And boom. That's pretty nice. Alright. Click out of that. Then play it. Check it out. Uh, it's a little long, but this, that's what we're supposed to look like. And uh, that means you did it good so far. Uh, that is pretty great. And then you could do any of these other ones. You could do chalk, moss, wood, lightning. My favorite is turbulent silk because it looks really cool. You can also do clouds and lava. I like that. I like those too. And uh, once you got that. It's pretty easy. You got that. You can add some uh, tran transitions. I like that one. And then um, add another one. Do the same thing I did. You can even uh, put the red. Hold up. You can put like the the red glow, the green glow, the white. I don't know. It's, it's all pretty good. After that, you want to click render as and make sure it's very. You gotta make sure you gotta click render as not published. It's not legit. Go to some some crappy website. Don't do that. Render as and there's hold up. There's all those all those ones to choose from. There's AVI, Windows Movie. Uh, I mean Windows Movie, whatever. And then I already have mine customized to a 3 MPS video. I forgot to add it to a custom template. But you could really, really uh, change it up if you want to. To make it HD, all you have to do is um, 29 NTSC for the frame rate in video. High definition for image size 128 by 1280 by 720. Bit rate, yada yada yada. Make sure you click on project as in best. I will probably be doing another video tutorial on how to make your videos high definition but not right now you just click OK and if you want to save it to your template like HD then you're good that's your custom template it'll always be there for you to choose from click save yada yada I'll go that and there's your perfect template Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, check out my other videos, check out my intros, tell me how you like them. Thank you. Hope this helped, and if it did, just post a video response, quick video response, just show me what your intro is, and, yep, yeah, that's all it is. You don't have to thank me, well, I don't know, if you, if you want to, but you don't have to put my name in any of your videos or whatever. Whatever, yeah. Alright, well, peace out.